Hello, parents and students. This is Mrs. Brown, counselor at Westfield Middle School. In this video, I'm going to show you how to choose your elective classes in PowerSchool. A few important things I want to be sure you understand before I get started. First, you are only choosing elective related arts type courses. These are designed to enhance your middle school experience and allow you to explore different disciplines. Okay, the vast majority are only nine weeks in length. So if you decide once you begin a course, it isn't something you absolutely love, it's okay. It's only one quarter, nine weeks in length, and then you will get to try something else. Nothing you choose or don't choose will impact your ability to take other courses in middle school or high school. So relax and have some fun. To learn about anything specific regarding a course, check out our WMS course description catalog, which has a description listed for every class here at the middle school. You can find that in the letter that was emailed home to you and also at wmscounseling.com backslash scheduling. Okay, so let's get started. When you are choosing your classes in PowerSchool, the first thing you're going to do is log on like you normally do. Um, so at the student parent sign in screen, you'll log in. Okay. Once you have logged in, you will have your login screen. It will likely take you to your child's grades and attendance. And then over here on the left, you'll see there is a class registration button. Okay. Once you click that, you will come to the class registration system for 2019-2020. Okay. Let me point out a few things before we get started. Okay. You'll notice there's directions here. It says read the directions and follow the steps below to choose your elective classes for seventh grade. You will need a total of eight credits plus two backup courses. CCR7 is required and has already been selected for you. It counts as one credit. Begin with seventh grade music. So let me point a couple of things out. CCR stands for College and Career Readiness. It is a required class and it takes one credit. We don't have credits in middle school, um, but for lack of a better term that PowerSchool allows us to use, it's synonymous with slots or spaces. So you have eight spaces to fill and that's what we'll be doing. Okay, so you'll notice that down here in the CCR section, it's already chosen for you. There's a green check mark over here, and right down here, it's already counted one slot for you, okay? So that you won't have to do anything with, okay? So let's start at the top. You read, we read the directions. It said to start with seventh grade music, okay? You'll notice that there's a green check mark over here on the side. That is because Students do not have to choose a music class, okay? So um, if you don't want to take a music class, then you can leave it blank. So this is what it says. You may choose one music course. If you do not wish to take a music class, then leave it blank, okay? For the sake of example, I'm going to choose a music class. And in order to do that, you go over here to the little edit button, which is the pencil, and you click on it. And when you click on it, you'll see your choices here, band seven, men's choir, music exploration, and women's choir. Okay, whichever one you wish to choose, you go ahead and make a check mark in front of it. It highlights it, and then you click OK. Once you do that, you'll notice it's listed right here. Okay, band, which is what I decided to choose, takes up four slots, plus you have the one slot for CCR. So down here, you'll notice you're at five credits. Okay, so clearly that means we need three more choices. We're going to go to the next box, and that says seventh grade electives. Choose elective courses you would like to take until your total credits equals eight at the bottom. So again, I'm going to go over to this little pencil here. And I need three more choices, so I'm just going to make some selections based on things that I'm interested in. I would like to try maybe 2D art, um, design and modeling, and um, tech apps. Okay, and then I hit OK, and you'll notice that those three have been added, so I'm at eight and eight, and I don't need any more. Okay, the last step though, there's still an, a red exclamation mark here, which means I'm not quite done, um, is that we have to choose backup courses. So, you must choose two backup courses. This is just in case, um, in case a first choice is filled or something changes with our schedule that we need to 
um, know some other things that your student is interested in. So I'm going to choose two backup courses that I didn't choose the first time. Um, and I believe, I think maybe 2D art was one I hadn't chose. Um, Spanish and um, media literacy. Oops, that was three instead of two. So see, there's a, still a red exclamation mark there. So I need to fix that. I have one too many. So I only needed two backups. There we go. Okay. So it looks like I'm set in this section, this section, backup courses, CCR is already chosen for me. And now I can click submit at the bottom of the page. Okay. So once you're finished, you can click submit. Um, if, as an example, if I were a student that didn't want to take music at all, okay, um, you'll notice I've, I've only got four of our eight, my eight credits. So it's not going to let me hit submit. I need to go back up to my elective section and I would need to choose a few more till I hit eight. Okay. And it looks like on my backups, I chose 2D art, so I'm going to fix that. Um, I'm going to make one of my backups study skills instead. Okay, so once everything looks good, which it does here, I have eight, eight, I have all of my green check marks are there. Um, I can go ahead and click submit. And once you click submit, using my daughter as an example here, um, you, it will show you all of the choices that you chose plus your alternates, okay? And you can print that if you'd like to remember it um, and just for your reference. Um, but once you've hit submit, you are all finished and there's nothing more you need to do, okay? We look forward to continuing this process with you um, and please let us know if you have any other questions and make sure that you've received the email with all of the information about Summer Open House um, coming up in July. Thanks so much.